Hello, this is Liz with Crafty Devotion, and I began work on another um, wall hanging, and um, I want to show you what I've done so far. Um, so far, I've taken this frame, and I decided to change the shape of it and to make it more oval, but I'm not very good at making ovals, so it's kind of like a oval square. <laughs> <laughs> but I already decorated because I, I have plans right behind you where I'm going to show you um, what I'm doing. And this is basically kind of what I have together right now. Let me show you here. I have, again, the canvas on the back. And then I found this gorgeous, gorgeous um, fabric. And I decided I was going to use this fabric. And I want to go a more... Uh, a lot of golden reds um, over here you can see that I have some flowers that I'm, I've been working on making different roses and the roses I started saying oh, I'm gonna try some roses and then I just start different flowers and this is actually a puff flower with this gorgeous gold fabric and there's the red ones so um, I am going to basically um, begin from here um, this one here is basically I just went and cut it out in oval. I'm really bad at measuring, so all I did was freehand it. So that's why it came out that shape. <laughs> okay, so this is the lace I actually put around the edge, and it's an interesting lace. It's like an organza with a lot of little beads along the edge. It looks gorgeous, and it actually is a stretch lace, so that kind of makes it easier to wrap a little bit. But um, I actually had this in my shop for quite a while. Nobody was buying it, so I said I'm going to craft with it because I think it's gorgeous, and so I am. The same with this one. I will probably try to incorporate this maybe on my next one. It's just a gorgeous. I just have them on the same thing there. Okay. So, so far I have attached a piece of fabric, and this fabric right here is just gorgeous. Let me pull it up closer to you because... It actually looks like it may be like a painted fabric. Like it had an image and then somehow it's painted on. And I do have about a yard of this. And I said, well, why not craft around that beautiful thing? And so this is what I began, started coming up with. And I have some plans. I just don't have them. I haven't made any final decisions about things. But um, as you can see, I've been making flowers. So there's lints everywhere. But, um, so the thing I do, I'm pretty sure of, is I know I'm going to put this here. And I just hadn't decided where to place it. And I actually want, um, if you can see that's how pretty that is. I, I'm not going to cover the entire, all this fabric. I decided this fabric is, this fabric and this will be my, um, inspiration. And, um, so I went ahead and brought in those two items. And um, I'm going to go again like my other one with a tassel. And I'm thinking I'm going to go because my fabric is much more plain up here. Let me see. You see how much more plain it is? It's got a beautiful piece there. But I kind of decided that I'm going to go with my decoration up this way rather than um, down, down this way. I don't want to cover this. I don't want to cover this bottom section. And um, I made this flower with the puff flower method if you want another tutorial. And I, I am going to be getting ready to make, like remake some of my flower tutorials and even more. Um, everything takes time for me. But this was the, some fabric that I used. And this fab, these fabrics that I'm using are actually vintage fabrics. They're new vintage um, because... Um, my sister bought them from a crafter who had tons of stuff in, um, I think she used to be a decorator. So she has vintage, had vintage fabrics that are more like for decorating. Like this, this fabric here might be something that might have been put on a pillow. The same with this. It could have been placed on a pillow or adorning parts of the curtains. So um, I'm going to actually decorate around that. And um, I'm still thinking that I'm going to place a tassel along this side but I'm starting to wonder if I should go lower but I'm not sure I haven't made any any real decisions I could 
I don't know, I could flip this around too, I guess. Let's see. And decorate that way. That's still beautiful. Don't you think? You see the flower here. I could go here and I could go... Okay, so these are just a lot of things I have put down that, um, and I've grabbed a lot of things and I'll show them to you as I, I use them. And one of the first things I was thinking of using is I don't usually use this type of stuff in my crafting. For me, I just don't like it, but I thought of a way to use it where I might like it and I'm thinking I'm putting it underneath so that when I start layering, you can still see the sparkle underneath. Can you see that? You can see the sparkle underneath. So I don't know. I think I might do that. Okay, so this here, this is probably a doily I've sh I showed you before. This was one of the doilies that I, was a circle like this. And um, I decided to string through the holes that are on there. Just part some one of the ribbons that I was going to use. I don't know if I'm going to leave it all there, but um, I just decided to string it so that I could see what it would look like hanging on the bottom. And I think I do like that look. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually glue this down because I think it will work. And um, I think it's a good idea to think about different ways to use products. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure I'm going to place this here. And I think I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five of them. First, I was going to use more because I was thinking that um, I was going to ruffle it more. But I changed my mind and on that. I decided I'm not going to ruffle it too much. I'm going to just... Um, maybe I should go there. I think I'm going to put it there. That way it will be less bulky. Okay, so that's kind of cute. Okay, then I had thought, I, I've had this for a while. It's gorgeous. I actually carried this in my shop, but I don't have it in my shop anymore. And I, I had actually put some aside for myself to use in, in crafts. And I actually strung it, used a needle and thread. I used red. <laughs> and I... Um, actually did that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start here on this end and I want to put this here I decided I love the colors of that and I'm going to use it in this manner like a ruffle and it will still it'll kind of conceal the um, the doily but not really completely that's what I, I kind of liked about it is that I may add more um, more um, fringe at the bottom later, but like last time I just started this way and then I can always add more tassels here at the bottom if I want to. So I don't know how long this is. It's probably about a half a yard or so. I just just the piece I had there and I said, okay, well, I'm going to use it. You guys can do better than I can with sewing. I'm not like the best sewer. And I, I guess at everything I do. So I'm hoping some of you will be better at measuring <laughs> than myself. So again, I'm, I'm just, I just make things up as I go. I'm just putting some glue on that side. What I really need is I need my finger. And I have no idea where that my protection for my glue is, for my fingers are. I always lose them. I've, I've said that before. I lose them. So I'm just going to even it out a little bit and then I'll... I am going to place things on top of it. So I do want this green to be even. I decided I wanted the green to show. I may end up covering it later, but you know, sometimes you make plans and then change your mind. And I do that a lot with my things.
your the colors that you're starting to see me decorate with right now they're actually closer to the colors I like that I prefer because I'm actually making things that I might put up in my house um, and I just used that to tack it down it's going to get things on top of it so it doesn't have to be down perfect yet um, let's see okay I have these things I was gonna put there I have these gorgeous and I have a little bit more of this in my shop um, I sell it by the half yard for those of you who um, can't afford too much so I was thinking of putting it here you see how pretty that looks and my goal is I'm doing reds and golds and um, and I do like green I will keep the green because I put green in the other one that I made um, when you get these types of when you get these types of of um, trims they're at everything is held together with a string it's beaded and then strung beaded and and it's all held together by just one thread so if you um, just cut it they'll come off so I to solve that issue I come and I put some glue where the beads are where the thread is so that now when it dries, then I can just snip it. I think I'm going to go that way. It looks to me like that side's going to get what... I might be switching this around. I turned it upside down and talked about it, and then I completely forgot that I was still needed to make that decision and started gluing. So, sometimes that's the way you make choices, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to put this here. And actually, this beige color is... Um, attractive color it's just it this is like a more of a canvas type look um, but it has these gorgeous beads on it I only have a limited quantity of this I actually purchased it on, on clearance and said oh I'm gonna offer it to my friends too let's see because I'm basically covering up all that the red that I what I did is I just used the thread from the the red flowers that I was making these red flowers some threads came off and it was very it's very strong and satiny I added this beautiful tassel here at the bottom. I decided it needed more down here. And in addition, I know I'm going to add one more thing. I have this gorgeous, this is a vintage lace I have. And um, I kind of use like to use it in small amounts in my projects. I try not to waste it, but I decided I think this would look gorgeous down in here. So I'm going to attach that there also. So there we go. Beautiful highlighting layers. And on this side I decided I was going to place this lace I have here. This is a lace that I actually just purchased from um, I think Hobby Lobby. We recently in the last couple of years, um, got a Hobby Lobby here um, near us. The other one I have isn't it cute. It has uh, big old giant tassels, but I gotta have to see this one from the front to make a decision on that because it does have this gorgeous gold trim there. I wonder how that'll look. How this hangs, actually, it, I'm holding it straight up and these actually stay up quite well. I wouldn't want to cover anything up, so it's gonna go here and I think I'm gonna put it in front because there's a big difference between this one and this one. This one's beautiful. 
but it doesn't have as much um, on here. This one's just gorgeous and has beautiful colors. So, this is the one I'm going to use. This one has a bunch of little tassels, and I had thought about using these little tassels individually. I carry this one in my shop. I actually have it there as a to decide if it would sell and then I could possibly restock it but really it hasn't sold very well so I'm not gonna I'm not planning to restock it but it's gorgeous I the larger things like this in my shop I put them as selling as a half yard because I felt like then people could have a choice to get you know a half yard or a yard and sometimes we can't afford it but we want to use it I need some red so I'm gonna I also have this, but I didn't know if I was going to use it. I might use it just cut it apart. I carry, um, I have several um, appliques in my shop, and this one's all gold, so I thought it'd be great for me to use as maybe embellishments on corners, or um, I was planning, I had thought about doing this also. But I'm thinking that it's covering up this beautiful fabric. I want some of this to be exposed. And um, I don't want to do that, so that's why I'm doing this. And let's see, you can't even see that, can you? I'm not sure. I'm I'm just placing it here. I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do um, here. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put some golds and reds. I have this burgundy red lace also. I was thinking about making a rose with it or I can use it in the tassel also but I was going to get I guess I should try that use it in the tassel I was going to cut some of that red fabric this one might work though if I add it Maybe not right in front, but in the back, because the red just comes right through. I'm just going to make a jig, a big floppy bow with it. That's what I was thinking. Even though I'm not even good at making floppy bows. Yeah. <laughs> 